Hello, hello, and welcome to Dial in Vailog Tutorial 11. Today, I am going to make dual port asynchronous read write RAM, and this is the programming for dual, dual port asynchronous read write RAM. In which there are two addresses address underscore 0 and address underscore 1, two data. To chip select, to write enable, and to output enable. Fine. These are different parameters. Now, in the in uh, for two port input port, there are address, chip select, read write enable, output enable, where address is of eight bit, and address two is again eight bit. Now there are two total in out ports data underscore zero and data underscore one and it is also eight bit and there are uh, three internal resistance that are data underscore zero underscore out data underscore one underscore out and third that is data width means eight bit memory and uh, their address is zero to eight. Now, in a memory write block, whenever this type of condition occurs, whenever there is event in any of these parameters, address 0, CS0, WE0, data 0, address 1, CS1, WE1, data 1, in this type of event, so this, uh, this uh, loop is going to execute, in which if there is chip select is 0 and write enable is 0, Sorry, if chip select is one and write enable is one for zero port at that time, whatever data is there that will store in the memory at this specified location. And whenever there is second type of condition, means so CS one is equal to one and W one is equal to one, and this is not happen at that time, data one will store in the memory specified by an address underscore one. Now in the read operation, in the read operation wherever there is address CS0, W1 and OE1 event occur at that time if CS0 is equal to one, WE underscore is equal to zero and WE underscore zero is equal to one at that time whatever whatever data at at uh, this specified address, it will store in data underscore zero underscore out, otherwise zero. And simultaneously, memory read from the uh, second port, that is, whenever CS one is equal to one, WE underscore one is equal to zero, and OE underscore one is equal to one. At that time, whatever data uh, store in this specific address, it will store in data underscore one underscore out otherwise it is zero so this is all, all about the programming let's uh, synthesize this and then we will check uh, this programming in on test bench so save this and synthesize this
okay fine so now synthesization is successful now you check the test bench okay so simulate visual model okay so these are the different waveform of ram in which first we have to set uh, address 0 of course constant and set address underscore 0 to first location and then chip select is equal to 1 okay then chip select is equal to write enable is equal to 1 okay output enable is equal to 0 okay then uh, address underscore 2 let's give it to second location fine now cs is equal to constant 1 and w right enable is equal to 1 output enable is equal to 0 now take the data like this 1010 and second data as a 4041 okay so now let's run this so you can see <coughs> this data data underscore 0 will store in the first location this address location and to write another data that is data underscore 0 the uh, this data is written here and to, uh, to write this data on this location we have to enable this write enable to 0 okay. and then run so this second data will store here fine now to read these two data we have to first read we have to first output enable this So now this, this data will store in data underscore zero underscore out. Fine. Now to read this data on data underscore one underscore out, we have to just disable this and enable this one. Now uh, here this data will read by this port 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So in this way this dual uh, dual input asynchronous RAM will work. So we have seen uh, its programming and its 